I guess I found it on the side of the road. And so I said, let's uh, let's fix it up. Currently it started up fine. I haven't started in a little while. So first off is just to see if it's running. Pretty sure the shaft is bent so the, the blade wobbles and it has this horrible shake to it. So I guess uh, we'll just figure this out and try it out and see what happens. And so uh, let's get started. How's the oil? Haven't started this up all season. itself works which is good we still have that horrible shake which basically makes this mower unusable so I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is just take the spark plug off um, flip it over Cool, cool, cool. So before I get too far, I'm just going to see how bent it is. So we're going to tie this off. Start it. I don't claim to be a mechanic, so don't necessarily if it works, it works. If it doesn't, you probably won't see this. Let's take this cover off. Oh. So that is what engages this. So looking at this blade, I think it's probably actually the blade. I mean, there was a little bit of stuff going on in here, but also I need to tighten this. So I'm gonna look into that, tightening this, tightening this for the drivetrain thing, whatever. Okay, so to get this thing off, there are two bolts here. There's one bolt here, here, and here. One bolt here and one bolt here, and I just took all those off. And this front cover piece comes off. Now I can see up in here how loose this thing is. So I'm going to go to the hardware store, get a new blade. And then uh, I've got this other mower. I'm gonna get a new spark plug because I don't think there's any spark getting to it. So uh, we'll be back. All right, we're back from the store. Got a new mower blade. Also picked up a new spark plug for that motor. So we've got this motor with the blade matter with the spark plug. So I think I'm just going to try the new blade on here first, see if that stops the rattling, and then go from there. So let's get this cover back on first, I guess. Now we're going to put in these two bolts here. So I've secured one, two, three, four, five, and then two on the other side. So that should technically be good with this. Now we're going to put this cover back on. So if you look, there's a little bit of wobble on the plate. 
So I don't know if I should just go for it. Just looks like it's bent. I think I'm just gonna try it and go for it and see what happens. Honestly, that's probably about as good as it's gonna get. I guess we'll try it and see what happens. It's on there really tight, so that's not coming off, but it's just whether or not it'll be balanced or not. So we're gonna try this. Here goes nothing. <laughs> So I'm 99-ish percent sure that when I had it on the side, it just drained the fuel and stuff. So I'm going to let it sit here for a little while, let that kind of evaporate, I guess. So while we're waiting on that, grab the new spark plug. If uh, This is why this motor wouldn't start. Um, that's pretty low. Here goes nothing. So that was the super, super simple thing on this mower. Some gas and a spark plug. This one I've actually taken off the flywheel, um, done the start, the key, I've switched that out, basically cleaned the carburetor, done some other stuff to it. It's been sitting for a while. Same time, it's one of those mowers where you get it and it's not really going to be your main mower. But it's nice to just have a backup and if you ever have like weeds or ivy or stuff you really don't want to ruin your main mower with you can just use this one stuff on that so let's go back to the other one and see if that works so that one needs a little bit more time I may take it apart later but I'm just gonna try that out first and letting I, it's only been like five minutes so I didn't oh boy this lighting is horrible I didn't really expect too much Oh, come on, Andrew. Dark. was working pretty good, I will say. The vibration, which was the major problem, is completely gone. I'm gonna finish it up with the other mower, um, I guess, or do part of it, and then come back and see how this one is doing. That worked a lot better, and I think it's pretty much cleared up, so I'm excited.
it ran a lot better when you weren't standing there. Guess there's something here. And then at the same time, this was the air filter. I should have checked that way, way, way before. Thankfully on this one I got a new air filter, so I'm just going to put that one on this one for now. I mean, there's like bits of metal on this old one here. That could be in my motor now, so... That's why you always check the little things, Andrew, before you start running. So you learn from the mistakes. Always check the old air filter. So, I mean, literally, that's going straight into the carb. So I have to get the carb cleaned out now too. So here's a newish filter versus the old one. I mean, this one's not brand spanking new, but. You can clearly see the difference. So the carb definitely has bits and pieces of this old filter in there. So I am going to take off this front panel here and see what we can do about that. Okay, so I forgot to film a little bit of this bit. Took this off, cleaned that all up with the with the rag, um, and then I cleaned up the edge of the carburetor here and now I am pinching off the fuel hose and I'm gonna stick a rag under there and try and catch the gas. I already kinda started and realized I needed one of those so um, so that's the process that we're doing now so that looks pretty good That is full of junk. I'm gonna try and get the dirt out there. The outside doesn't have to be perfect, but even just this whole gasket is all old and cracked. That's definitely gonna need to be changed, but not today. So I just cleaned up the carb a little bit more. And then I'm currently putting the um, bowl back on. It's not perfect, uh, but it's a whole lot cleaner than it was before. We're going to see what happens after this. Normally you would take the whole carb off, clean it. I don't have all the parts to do that. I sprayed what I could of carb cleaner. I cleaned it up as best I could. We're going to go with that and see what happens. It's not perfect by any means. I will have some adjusting to do. Especially with the carburetor, just not having the parts available today made it so I couldn't make it perfect. But I would say it's definitely runnable and it works very well. So I'll put it in its paces and uh, I hope you guys learned something from this day of me just fixing things. If not, it was just a good day for me to just be outside, enjoy the beautiful day and uh, fix up some mowers that I had around my house. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing on this channel in the next couple of months, and especially since the whole epidemic has been happening, I, uh, I'm just trying to figure out life and things that I can be doing. And so, as I'm working on motors, from lawnmower mowers to outboard motors to so many other different things, to camera tricks and tips, to just bettering myself in different ways. I uh, hope you guys will come and join me along the way. So, thanks for watching today's episode of Motor Monday. I guess that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we won't always do motors on Monday, but if I do have motors, I'll probably post them on Monday. So, 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. Oh, and uh, thanks for watching. It means a lot.